It's sure going to be a beautiful day. Yes, uh, a beautiful day. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I can't do him justice. Okay. First of all, I've never thought in my wildest dreams I'd have an opportunity, nor an occasion, to wear this shirt. But it's the perfect occasion. I mean, clearly, I'm holding this prop in front of this display with Jeffrey Holder, who played. Baron Samdi, of course he did. And we have to acknowledge the fact that Jeffrey Holder unfortunately passed this year. He, you know, people say that he was not only an amazing performer, he was a dancer and obviously an actor, choreographer, but also an incredible human being. He was kind of like Roger Moore. You know, he just was very charming, very gracious with his fans. So clearly a loss. But we have something to remember him by, which is very interesting in this case. We are today reviewing the Baron Samadhi or Samadhi figure, the collectible figure from Big Chief Studios. Hopefully you saw the Roger Moore Live and Let Die one that we did just a little while ago. And even before that, we did an entire Goldfinger line. So Big Chief Studios keeps putting out these amazing collectible figures with undeniably sparkling, sparkling, where is that adjective coming from? Detail and, you know, props and gadgets. So today we are doing an unboxing and a review of Baron Samdi. So let's jump right into it. First of all, we've got to paint the scenes in the movie because let's face it, anytime Baron Samdi is on camera when he is in a scene from live and let die he steals the show he steals the scene because he is in a series of different shows but he's kind of this maniacal figure excuse the pun that you know exudes a certain amount of danger and mystery but that whole voodoo aspect that he brings across i mean jeffrey holder certainly certainly sold that in those scenes they scared me as a child they intrigued me as an adult, but he certainly did create this amazing character in the franchise that we know and love. And let's face it, he's one of the few henchmen, bad guys, that survives a James Bond film. So it's great that we have this homage, if you will, in figure form. By now, you know how we do these things. We have not looked in this box. The box is sealed. You can see right here, it's got Big Chief Studios, Baron Samadhi, Live and Let Die, six scale character replica figure. And we've got our handy dandy scalpel. We're gonna be really careful. I go over this uh, yeah, several times, but one of the things that we'd like to talk about is we wanna be very careful because the display boxes that these come in are quite frankly, almost as nice as the figures themselves. So we wanna be very careful when taking them out. Movie magic. <laughs> We're back. Okay, so you're seeing this reflection like we had last time. You're probably seeing the camera and the light. That is because there is a reflective material on the outside of this box. Um, we're going to take that off. It's a, it's a basically a wrap that wraps around this, but we'll be able to see the beautiful imagery on this. I always make fun of this, but in the most positive way, because when I every time I look at this, I just desperately want to put it over my head, like some sort of like shield. But then I would get angry letters from moms and dads everywhere saying, you're, <laughs> you're being so irresponsible. Stop that. Now, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we've got the front of this. Uh, Ian Fleming's Live and Let Die Collector Edition, Baron Samdi. And Baron Samdi looking a little surprised. Like he didn't realize he was going to be a collector figure or something like that. He's, he's, he's a little in shock. Here's that side. And then of course, on the back, it shows the whole figure. Masquerading as an entertainer and dancer for tourists, Baron Samdi aids Dr. Kanenga by using superstition to divert attention away from his drug operation and more. So we're gonna go further into this. Okay, we are carefully I've almost have like a surgeon's setup here. I've got a table for all my parts that this turns into. We're all good. We're, we're, we're fine here. Thanks. So there we go. Oh, this, now that's cool because look how colorful that is. I hope the color's picking up here. Uh, 
I mean, he's a colorful character. He's bigger than life, so why not? And did you see that? We're, we're not going to edit that out. That was a quick catch. That would have that would have just ruined my day a little bit more. But because what this is, I didn't want this to fall. This is always the background. So, oh, very cool. Okay, so it's relatively plain, which is nice because you want the doll to stand out. Figure, sorry, collectible figure, not doll. And it's got a little bit of fire action, but it goes really nicely with the Roger Moore one that we've seen before. So here's the Roger Moore one. See, it's the, that cemetery. So this, this kind of goes hand in hand. When I have them lined up, boy, is that going to look good. But we're going to put this on the side for just a second. And ah ha Look at the ha 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 Eat all your vegetables. Ha ha ha. I'm going to get that laugh by the end of this video. I'm probably not. So there's a lot of interesting things in here, but here's what we do. We're going to do a flyby of each layer, and that's going to give you a better view of everything here. But before we do the flyby, let's let's read the side because there is a kind of a manifesto, a listing. We've got um, one Baron Samdi portrait head featuring the authentic likeness of Jeffrey Holder. So cool. Top hat, tailcoat jacket, loincloth with a uh, corded belt, interchangeable portrait heads. Oh, that's cool. He's got a neutral expression or a laughing expression. I didn't know he had different heads. That's cool. Ten interchangeable hands, two pairs of interchangeable feet, a display base with illuminating character name plaque. Hmm. Accessories. He's got a cane, a necklace, a radio flute. What? And he's got a printed display backdrop, which we just showed you. Okay, now let's do the flyby. All right, we'd like to take a really close look so you can see this because the devils and the details. Look at look at the rings. Look at some of the amazing rings that he has on his fingers. Super cool. I mean, I, I didn't even remember those from the film. So that is some incredible detail. That's so you can hold the different apparatus or have them in a lot of different poses. Here is that face. He's, that's what they call a neutral face, which is very cool. Loin cloth. And, you know, he doesn't have a lot of clothing. He doesn't have a lot of clothing, but he doesn't have a lot of clothing in the film either. So there is the, ah, oh, come on. There is the flute. I can't wait to get that out and see that in detail. You've got his necklace. Okay, come on, ladies and gentlemen. So you got the top hat, but let me go back to that face. That is, is anybody have any doubt that that is going to be what's going to be on the display 98% of the time? I mean, it's got to be that. That is, that is the indelible, havoc minded baddie that I remember from the movie. So in the next layer down, we have the base. We have his cane and the plaque and different feet. Oh, 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 and <laughs> the really tiny, tell me that's the coconut head. No, it can't be the coconut head. Well, we're going to take that out. It's, uh, it's that tiny little hat that winds up on the bed that scares the, the heck out of Rosie. Oh, Rosie. So now we have released things out of the package. Now, I hope the detail picks up here, but look, look at the flute. The flute is insane. And by the way, that little antenna comes in and out. The flute closes. I mean, talk about detail. There is that hat. And you can tell by my fingers, just the size of that hat is extremely small. We'll come around to this side. So hopefully you can see it better. This is his uh, dancing cane. Kind of neat. You know, the thing about the props that come with this particular figure is, you know, what could they have done? You know, they, they could only do so much, but take a look at the figure itself. We're going to pull up. Okay. Now he's got that expression on that expression, which is the expression, the Baron Samdi expression. And by the way, even the texture of the top hat is really well done. I'll pull back so you can see the whole thing here. There we go. I mean, have a look at that. Now, I haven't even posed this yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a slightly more 
interesting pose just so we can really take it all in. Okay, to me now, now it's a showstopper. <laughs> so here's what I did. I shifted his legs a little bit to give a, a little bit of look of movement and animation. Obviously, I've got his cane in his hands. I like the hands that he's holding. It kind of looks a little bit dainty. You know, he's got that maniacal look on his face. I put the cross a little bit askew like he's moving. So it's almost, I wanted to make it seem like he's shifting to the left. You know, you could almost imagine him, you know, kind of dancing right now. And the flute. I mean, it wasn't entirely natural to put the flute in this pose, but for right now, rather than have it up to his face because he's making that laugh, I at least wanted it represented. And then down at his feet is the hat for a man with a very small head. But of course, when you put it all against that background, that's what truly brings this to life. I mean, this is, this is happiness in a display. <laughs> it is so very cool. Uh, I, again, I, I love it that it, it, it shows, it exudes action. It, 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 it's got this macabre type of look and background and we'll bring it up close again for you. Just so you can kind of see it in correlation to what a human looks like. So you could see the different size and everything like that. But take a look at that. I mean, my gosh, I'll just kind of, show you the back of it as well, which we didn't show you before. Again, looks good from every direction. 95% of the time you'll see it coming from the front, but I, I like the way it is. I may play around with the pose to make him even more animated because he is a, he's a, an entity that is just always in movement. Now, because this is a review and not just an unboxing, I want to give some very honest opinions here. I, really like the representation of Jeffrey Holder, obviously Baron Samdi as the character from Live and Let Die. Mm. And I think it's going to go extremely well with the other two figures, obviously James Bond and Solitaire. I think I would have added maybe one or two other pieces to this. For example, I might have added the coconut, the coconut that actually fires the little um, bullet that kills Rosie. I would have had that coconut, maybe just on display or something like that. I might have also had uh, the machete that he uses. I mean, you know, when he comes out of the box and he's like, he makes that, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do that sound. But you know the sound I'm talking about because you're a Bond fan. That would have been cool. Just a couple of extra things. I think it's a little bit light on the props. And because the costuming is light, it, you know, it may come up a little bit short. The other thing is, this is his kind of dancing outfit, but the, the outfit that I think everybody really kind of knows him as is the skeleton outfit. So I think it had to be a hard choice for Big Chief to think about, all right, so which outfit do we use? Obviously, this is a better homage to Jeffrey Holder, uh, but I think maybe the other one would have been an interesting choice from a Baron Samdi standpoint. Anyway, that's my two cents. Overall, what do I think of this? Come on. I mean, obviously I like it. I'm, I'm giddy right now. I can't wait to start to put all of these together, but you won't see that until the third and final one where we talk about solitaire. So you're going to have to come back. You have to come back. All right. So just do me that favor, set it down for reminders, and we'll do it pretty shortly. Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Also thanking Big Chief Studios for sending us these fun, fun collectibles. And we will see you all real soon. Take care. It's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, a beautiful day. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, closer. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.